Hi there. This video is intended to show you how to get your native instrument's complete control and contact presets to show up on your push so you can stay away from the screen and stay in the flow. I'm currently in the process of mapping contact so I'm gonna use it as a demo. This is probably going to work in other plugins as well, but your mileage will vary, so yeah, just try it out. This is probably very basic information, but I could not find a tutorial on it, so yeah, gonna make one myself, I guess. Uh, in Ableton, in your Places folder, navigate to Library, Presets, Instruments, and then find the instrument you're gonna map. So in this case, we're gonna map Contact. Uh, I've created a folder saying Factory Library because that's the thing I'm currently mapping. You can see I've already mapped alto saxophone, baritone, sax, tenor, blah, blah, blah. So I'm currently in the horns section. Um, now you wanna open up Contact with this little button here and uh, just throw the next thing you want to map in there. With contact especially, make sure to give it a little play test so you know that the MIDI mapping is definitely working. And then it's just as easy as clicking this little save icon, naming the thing accordingly. So in this case, uh, trumpet mute. And there we go, we saved it. And now we should be able to find it just using our push without any monitor. So let me switch over to this little improvised uh, thingy here. What up? So on the push, you can just slap add device, go to VST instruments in my case, because that's the folder where I keep my VST instruments. And now when you, uh, when you scroll down to contact, you can see over here, there are some, uh, there are some presets showing up already. I can't navigate over there with the knob. However, you can use this or this, to just switch over there. You can use your knobs again if you want to. Um, so yeah, and here we go. There it is, trombone mute, I don't know, probably can't read it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my computer is really struggling with OBS. <laughs> um, but yeah, just to show you how it works, uh, I've just loaded in, uh, I don't know, alto sax. And it's there. Uh, I can also use the browse feature, which is nice. Um, in the browse feature, it will show the uh, the folders because it will navigate through there. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is where the rest of my uh, presets are. And as you see, it's uh, it's very easy to use uh, this way. And yeah, that's it really. I think I might provide all of my presets uh, down below in the description if I find a way to, to nicely streamline it so you don't have to go through the tedium of setting it all up, just like I am doing right now. I don't know why this isn't just working off the cuff. It's uh, kind of annoying, but yeah. Okay, uh, I hope this helped. See ya.